Hello, wonderful. It is Sarah. And I had someone I care about very deeply go through this experience this week and wanted to share it with you. And they had a situation where they were cheated on. They caught their loved one in cheating and found pictures on the phones, like very obvious stuff that there was no way couldn't be true, right? So at first, the person was like, oh, no, it's not true. And then when it was like, no, I saw your phone. This is obviously true. You're lying to me. The person switched tactics and said, well, can't we just get back to normal? You need to work on trusting me again so we can just get back to normal. And this person told me this and my blood pressure like skyrocketed. I was just like in rage because I see this pattern every time. It is a manipulation tactic. Can't we just get back to normal means can't we just stop talking about what I did wrong? Can't we just ignore the fact that I lied to you? Can't we just ignore the fact that I was sleeping with other people and not telling you about it? Can't we just ignore the fact that I had pictures and text on my phone and times that I said I was working, I instead was with this other woman? Can't we just ignore all that and get back to normal? No wonder they want to use this tactic. And so often, when I see people stuck in toxic mess and toxic muck, they're like, oh, if I could just, if I could just prove to them that they were doing something wrong, if I could just had clear proof and evidence that you were lying or you were doing this, that and then the person would change. And I want to say the person is very likely to change, but they're not gonna change their behavior. They're going to change their strategy of manipulation. So at first, the strategy was, you're lying, you know, th I, this didn't really happen. And when that strategy wasn't working, no, look, here I have the proof. You are actually lying to me. This person changed strategies, which is, well, can't you just forgive and forget? I thought you were a good person. I thought, you know, I thought you were good at forgiving. We just need to get back to normal which is responsibility avoidance. Can't we get back to normal means let's stop talking about what I did wrong and holding me accountable for anything. And if there was, I would not necessarily recommend getting back with someone who you knew had cheated on you and lied to you. I would not recommend that. But if this person had said, oh my gosh, I'm completely wrong for doing this. I can't believe I did this. It's 100% it's my fault. I totally made a mistake and you have every right to be mad at me and I completely did something wrong and I'm sorry. That sounds very different than can't we just get back to normal. One is actually taking responsibility for the bad behavior and one is ignoring the bad behavior or hoping you ignore the bad behavior. And then they turned it into a trust issue. Can't you just be more trusting? You need to work on your trust. And there are so many times I get on the phone with a woman and they say, oh, you know, I've got to work on my trust issues. And I'm like, okay. So have you been around a lot of really, really amazing people and blown it up because you've had trust issues? And they're like, no. I said, oh, so you've been around a lot of people who lied to you? Yes. Okay, so you don't have trust issues. You have an issue with people lying to you. Like, let, let's, let's, you actually need to believe less and trust them less, not trust them more. People, it is a manipulation tactic. It is a manipulation tactic. So, if there's anybody in your life who is like, oh, we need to reset normal and you need to work on your trust issues. That is responsibility avoidance, and they are doing it so they don't have to talk about what they did wrong. Um, I hope you have a great day, and I hope this helps you become toxic person proof.